잠시 후 2022학년도 고등학교 전국연합학력평가 3교시 영어 영역 듣기평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, citizens of Gransville. I'm your mayor, Clara Bennett. As you know, our city is going to have a charity auction for the local children's hospital. I'm sure that many citizens are paying attention to this special event, so we're looking for volunteers for the event. The volunteers are going to take care of categorizing donated items and cleaning up the event hall. I hope you can make a truly memorable contribution to our community. If you're interested, please visit www.gransville.gov and fill out the volunteer application. Thank you for your help in advance. 2번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Come on in, Miss Dale. Take a seat. Good afternoon, Mr. Harrison. Thank you for your time. No problem. I'm happy to share my teaching experience with you. How can I help? Well, students in my class are having a hard time memorizing vocabulary. Do you have any ideas on how to make it easier for them? Hmm. How about using songs? Songs are helpful for remembering vocabulary easily. Do you really think so? Yes. The repetition of the melody and rhythm in a song can help them remember words for longer periods of time. That makes sense. Also, you can see students enjoy learning vocabulary through songs. Learning is easier when it's fun. Sounds good. I should try that. I'm sure songs will help your students to easily remember vocabulary. Thank you for your advice. 3번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, Mr. Ryan. It's been a while. You're right, Miss Brown. It's been a year since I visited here. Did you notice some changes around the place? Yeah. The facilities look renovated and clean. Due to the increasing concerns about abandoned animals, more donations were made, which allowed us to renovate. That's good. It looks like the number of workers in this shelter has increased as well. That's true. There were only three people including me working here, but now there are five. I see. Well, as I told you on the phone, I brought dog food to donate. Thank you so much. Your donations have always been a great help for our animals. I'm glad to hear that. Then I'll bring the food from my car. Can I help you? Thank you. Let's go to the parking lot together. 4번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Mindy You prepared a lot for your music teacher's farewell party. How did it go? Dad, Mr. Peters loved it so much. Do you want to see a picture of it? Sure. Oh, you drew a violin on the banner. Yeah, he used to play the violin in front of us. Look at the picture on the wall. It's a picture of the music club members. Looks lovely. By the way... What are those two boxes next to the plant for? Those are the gifts we prepared for Mr. Peters. And do you see the cake on the table? Yes, 
Is that the cake you were baking last night? He must have loved it. He sure did. Also, we played the piano for Mr. Peters. Oh, I can see a piano under the clock. Right. I hope he had a great time with us. <phone rings> 5. 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. John, the Earth Day event is in an hour. Let's do a final check. Okay, Kelly. The table for registration is nicely set in that booth. Wonderful. The Earth-shaped badges we're going to give out to visitors were delivered in the morning. Perfect. I hope people will like them. I'm sure they will. And the materials for decorating reusable cups are in this box. Good. And I've already checked the speakers we're going to use for the broadcast. They work well. Great. By the way, where's the wireless microphone? Oh, I forgot to bring it from the school auditorium. I'll get it right away. Thanks. Then I'll put the Earth Day poster on the front of the table. 6번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to King Wave Surfing. Hello. I'd like to sign up for a surfing lesson with my husband. Sure. Which program do you want to register for? Hmm. Is there a beginner's lesson available this Friday for two people? Let me check. Yes. We have a private lesson and a group lesson on that day. The private lesson costs $80 per person, and the group lesson costs $50 per person. I'd like to book a group lesson for two people. All right. How about renting surfing suits? They're $10 per person. Yeah, I think we need to rent two of them. Okay. So that's two people for the group lesson and two suits, right? Yes. Oh, can I use this coupon? I got it from the hotel where I'm staying. Let me see. Sure, you get 10% off the total. Great. Here's my credit card. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자가 영화를 보러 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hello, Ted. Hi, Christine. Have you finished your yoga class? Yes, it has just finished. I'm on my way to a club meeting. What's up? Guess what? I got accepted into the internship program. Congratulations! You must have made a good impression during the interview. Thanks, but that's not the only reason I called you. Then why did you call me? Well, I have to tell you that I can't go to see the movie this Friday. I'm really sorry. Didn't you say that you quit your part-time job? Yes, I stopped working there last month. Then why can't you come? Actually, I have a medical checkup for the internship on that day. I see. Maybe next time. 8번. 대화를 듣고 스프링 워킹 챌린지에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Bella, did you see this leaflet about spring walking challenge? Walking challenge? I've never heard of that. It's about tracking how many steps we walk and deciding who walks the longest distance with the Challenge Tracker app. Interesting. When is it? It's held from April 17th to May 1st.
I see. Oh, the challenge is open to any community member. Good. Then a lot of people can participate. I think it'll be a fun experience. Absolutely. And $500 will be given to the winner. Really? I want to participate in it. How can I sign up for the challenge? Just scan this QR code and fill in the application form on the website. Thanks. I'll do that now. Kuban International Beatbox Championship에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, listeners. I'm Jay Cloud, director of the International Beatbox Championship. I'm so thrilled to invite you to our upcoming championship. It'll be a five-day event starting from May 10th in Miami. There will be solo performances and group performances. And guess what? The winners from last year will participate as judges. The finals will be broadcast live on our website. Tickets are only available to be purchased online, but seats will be assigned on a first-come, first-served basis. For more information, visit www.beatboxchamps.org. Join us and feel the rhythm with your whole body. 10번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 되어 할 정수기를 고르시오. Honey, what are you doing? I'm looking at this catalog of water purifiers we can rent. Why don't we choose one together? Sure. How much can we spend on the monthly rental fee? We can't afford more than $40. Then let's cross this out. Do you think we should get one with hot water? Yes. I drink a lot of hot tea, so a water purifier with hot water will be more convenient. All right. What about the filter replacement? We can ask service engineers to visit our home to change the filters or do that by ourselves. Well, which one is better? Hmm. Replacing a filter by myself doesn't seem difficult. Let's choose the self-replacement option. Okay. Now, there are only two options left. Which color do you like? I prefer the white one since it'll match with our kitchen better. I agree. Then let's rent this. 11번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jeremy, I was surprised to see you play the drums at the school festival. You were incredible. I'm flattered, Miss Anderson. I play them as a hobby. Really? When did you start learning the drums? 12번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mom, take a look at this school newsletter. Hmm, there's an Easter egg hunt. That looks like an exciting event. My teacher said parents are welcome to participate, and I really hope you come. 13번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What are you doing, Jake? Hi, Diane. I'm reading a book about promising jobs in the future. Great. What kind of future career are you interested in? 
Well, I don't have any specific career in mind. Oh, I see. So you're getting ideas from that book. Yes, this book is really helpful, but I need more detailed information related to my preferences and interests. Well, how about talking with our school career counselor? I didn't think about that. He has given me lots of information in finding my future career through some counseling sessions. Sounds good. Then I should talk to him today. Hold on. You have to make an appointment first. How can I do that? His schedule is posted on our school website. You should look at it and make an appointment online. Honey, what time is it now? It's already two o'clock. You've been looking at your smartphone for two hours. Oh, I didn't realize that it was that long. I'm worried that you've been spending too much time on your smartphone. Why don't you try a digital detox? What's that? It's voluntarily avoiding the use of digital devices like smartphones for a certain amount of time. But it'll be hard to just stop using them so suddenly. Well, how about doing more productive activities instead? By focusing on other activities, you won't think of using digital devices. Okay, you have a point. Once I get into a productive activity, I may not think about digital devices. Right. You can do anything you want during that time. Why don't you start painting again? Good idea. It'll take my mind away from smart devices. Amy and Terry are members in the same dance club. They come to know that there will be a dance contest for high school students. Amy asks Terry to apply for it as a pair, and he agrees. From that day, they have practiced really hard for the contest. Finally, the day of the contest comes, and they meet to rehearse one last time. However, Terry keeps making mistakes, even for the dance moves that he used to do easily. Amy asks Terry what's going on with him, and he tells her that it's because he's really nervous about the competition. Amy wants to assure him that since they have put a lot of effort in, they will do amazingly on the stage. In this situation, what would Amy most likely say to Terry? Good morning, students. Last class, we talked about how animals in the ocean live together. Today, I'm going to tell you how sea creatures defend themselves. First, many ocean inhabitants use large groups to protect themselves from predators. For example, Penguins often enter the water in groups in an attempt to confuse predators. Second, one form of concealment animals use is disguising themselves to blend in with their surroundings. Seahorses act like coral by clinging to it with their tails, so a predator may not notice them. Third, many forms of sea life use poisons to drive off predators. Jellyfish have stinging body parts, which not only paralyze their food, but also provide protection from predators. Lastly, 
Some marine creatures use protective shells that prevent predators from attacking them. Oysters have thick and hard covers that protect them. Isn't that interesting? Now, let's watch a video to help you understand better. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, students. Last class, we talked about how animals in the ocean live together. Today, I'm going to tell you how sea creatures defend themselves. First, many ocean inhabitants use large groups to protect themselves from predators. For example, penguins often enter the water in groups in an attempt to confuse predators. Second, one form of concealment animals use is disguising themselves to blend in with their surroundings. Seahorses act like coral by clinging to it with their tails, so a predator may not notice them. Third, many forms of sea life use poisons to drive off predators. Jellyfish have stinging body parts, which not only paralyze their food, but also provide protection from predators. Lastly, some marine creatures use protective shells that prevent predators from attacking them. Oysters have thick and hard covers that protect them. Isn't that interesting? Now, let's watch a video to help you understand better. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?